Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with a quick recap of a little war that Genesis was in against Pittsburgh A. Just a very small war. I forget why it was small. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there might have been a ranged war in uh, Alpha. I can't remember exactly, but for whatever reason, it was only a 15 v 15 war. And uh, as we go through the bases, you'll be able to see that basically. Um, they struggled on our, some of our top bases, and even most of our Town Hall 9s were left two-starred. So uh, they had a, not the best war, uh, Pittsburgh A, that is. We got uh, the 11s two-starred and everything below three-starred. So a uh, nice little war for ourselves in Genesis. I wasn't in it, but uh, definitely were some great attacks. And we're going to look at some diversity, a few different attacks uh, with different compositions. And one thing I want to say before we get into the attacks is that uh, you guys will be able to see a live attack coming out tomorrow along with the face reveal. So two very fun videos coming out and the, the live attack has a little bit of a twist to it. So that's something that's going to be cool. So I'm going to have two very cool videos coming out tomorrow. Uh, so be, be sure to look for those and I think you guys will like them. Just recorded some tonight. Uh, should be a good video, both of them. So let's go ahead and get into the attacks. We have Greg taking on number one. And he's coming at this base with a kind of a Queen Walk uh, Valk attack. You can see he has very low level heroes for a Town Hall 10, at least in Genesis. But he's going to take out this Town Hall 10 base that has the Town Hall right in the center. This is a very common base that people use at Town Hall 11. I've seen this base a ton of times, but it can be two-starred with the Town Hall 10, even uh, with only 30, 33 heroes. The queen is just going to get a few buildings taken out. I think she could have gotten more, but for whatever reason, she's going to just walk up to this Inferno Tower. It looked like that's kind of how it was planned. I'm not sure, because uh, she only gets about 12, 13% uh, before she goes down to that Inferno. Uh, so not the best value, in my opinion, for the investment of the queen walk, plus that one rage. But he does get a little bit of the base taken out. And I guess, maybe more importantly, he funnels uh, for his his main push because the difficulty is getting into that town hall on the base because that town hall is so isolated from all other buildings on the base so it comes in with the valks the bowlers um i guess what the the idea is the valks kind of run out in front um and take out these buildings and luckily enough they kind of split so the king goes to the left and then the teslas lead him in there uh greg drop, drops the jump so the king goes straight to that town hall with a few valks gets it taken out, and then from here it's just about the percentage, and he has just enough troops to get the job done. Very close, but it just shows this Town Hall 11 base is um, able to be to be two-starred with a Town Hall 10, and he probably could have dropped a few minions up top just to get a few more percentages. That's something you should always look for. Uh, bring a few archers and a few minions, especially if you know you will take out the eagle on your path to the town hall. Because if you don't get the eagle, uh, that it can target anything on the map. So if you drop some archers or some minions, uh, they'll get shot down by the eagle usually. But if you know you're going to take out that eagle, might as well bring a few archers or minions if there's some ex uh, exposed buildings you can target uh, that are out of range of all defenses because you might find yourself at 45%. And then in that case, um, it's really helpful to have those extra few troops to snipe a few buildings on the outside. All right, so that being said, let's take a look at this Town Hall 10 attack. And Queen Walk uh, minor attacks are really becoming a thing. Which is weird because you'd think, and I said this too, uh, as soon as the nerf came out to healers, I was th thinking uh, we're not going to see many uh, queen walks at Town Hall 10 because they're they're kind of risky as it is. And with that extra possibility of a Seeking Air Mine hitting your healers, I thought they wouldn't be uh, used really at all at Town Hall 10. But it almost seems like we're seeing them more nowadays uh, paired up with the miners because they seem to make a good combo. I think I've talked about this in the past, but the, the Queen Walk doesn't take a lot of spells, which allows you to bring uh, quite a few miners. And uh, well, actually, the Queen Walk takes up usually one or two rages, but you still have plenty of troop space for miners and a few heal spells for them. But the Queen can still bite off a big chunk of the base, and she can go in a certain location. Uh, sorry about that. She can go in a certain location uh, to take out a good chunk of the base. So here comes, uh, what is this, Jamarco, I think is how you say it. Gamarco, either way, hard G or soft G. Coming in here with, <laughs> hard G or soft G. Coming in here with uh, his miners. Just targets that first Inferno. He dropped those two heal spells really early, but that's a critical part on the base. And he wants to heal early because you can't heal dead miners and 
it's better to keep the big group healed up early than to wait too long and have them all dead before you can even get them healed. So the queen is still up. She actually made her way back out of the base. She'll deal with the king, so it works out nicely. Uh, the miners are starting to go down, but because they're in a big group, they'll be able to uh, fight through the, those defenses in the core. He dropped a few hogs, which actually got some great value along the outside of this base. Those level 6 hogs, especially on some of these defenses that aren't max for Town Hall 10, they'll actually get in there and help on the Inferno. The miners will help finish it off as well and has a huge group of miners on the outside actually so a ton of miners left up uh sorry about the notifications but i guess you guys are used to that at this point um i don't i usually don't even try anymore although on the live attacks i'm going to do my best to remember to turn off the notifications because that actually could cost uh the clan uh not just me if i accidentally tap on the notification or even if it distracts me during the live attack uh, or any attack that I'm not recording, because that could get ugly real fast. Um, although I usually attack on my iPad, which doesn't have notifications turned on. But when I'm on my iPhone, I'll try to turn those off, at least for the attacks. And uh, I don't know about the videos, I've kind of given up. So anyway, that was a nice attack for Town Hall 10. We're going to take a look at uh, three Town Hall 9 attacks. We have one low-level hero attack, which actually has legitimately low-level heroes, not the one hive low-level heroes that you guys... Uh, are used to seeing which aren't like really low level heroes they're just kind of low for one hive so we'll take a look at one of those but first um, I want to show this attack uses the kind of a new strategy sort of it's kind of a variation of HB HP it's using the one P.E.K.K.A. eight Valks it has a queen walk just kind of a nice combination of all different types of stuff and what I like about this is um, you'll see it as he starts in in just a moment is the P.E.K.K.A. tanks very well Especially with the two healers. It has so much longevity It stays up for so long that it tanks for the Valks and it has the DPS too So it's not just like a golem in that it only tanks But it also has quite a bit of DPS which is pretty powerful inside a Town Hall 9 base So anyway, the Queen's making her way in the Queen I believe actually goes down He missed a rage Probably should have raged her up right here, but I guess he's busy deploying everything else. Actually, there goes the rage. I'm not sure how she goes down. I guess too many healers die. Yeah, he's down to like two healers, so they won't keep her up. But there's the P.E.K.K.A. And one thing I love about this, actually I'm going to pause it just so I can talk. I usually don't pause the attacks, but I'm going to in this video. One thing I love about the P.E.K.K.A. is that it, it can create its own funnel. As long as you take out one building to direct it a certain direction, it can take out a lot of trash buildings so you don't have to use a baby dragon you don't have to use uh, a wizard or something to create the funnel the P.E.K.K.A. can kind of just work its way on in and funnel the rest of the troops in uh, as it as it moves and the healers keep it up so that last uh, healer peels off onto the the kill squad so he gets an extra healer there everything moving through the base the bowlers backing it up the P.E.K.K.A. bowler uh, what is it P.E.K.K.A. bowler Valk healer that those four troops work very nicely together along with the rages to keep everything healed up and everything moving fast uh, They're just a lot of DPS and Town Hall 9 bases um, They don't have enough hit points or or uh, Defensive DPS to really be too much of an issue one thing I say about Town Hall 9 is on the right base you can just overpower it and I guess this qualifies because even though his queen went down He still has plenty of firepower to get his way through this base and uh, real, real nice attack to Nate We'll go ahead and fast forward because at this point It's just about those last few troops making their way through the base pops the king's ability and that's just about it um, Awesome stuff. Okay. I think yeah two more attacks. We're gonna look at we have number 11 up next um, I wanted to show this one also because it's not your average stoned goho or stoned hobo or whatever that we I've showed on the channel a lot. I want to show a little bit of different stuff. This is back to just kind of a standard HB HP uh, Anthony. He was kind of one of the first people in Genesis to start using it and along with kind of the new variation you just saw, this is still a great uh, option to use on certain Town Hall 9 bases. And kind of like the last attack, it's one of those strategies where it doesn't have to be perfectly planned out. Sometimes just by virtue of the firepower, you can get pretty lucky and take out certain buildings. So Anthony goes ahead and uses a few baby dragons. Not necessary, but they do get a few defenses taken out and get the funnel completely created. So 
kind of a nice luxury that he was able to bring that, but not necessarily needed. It also helped funnel the bowlers in, uh, so the funneling was good on the bowlers. There's the jump, uh, directs everything off to the left there. Out comes both a baby dragon and a regular sized dragon from the CC. Interesting little pair there, uh, but the queen will take out both of those and everything will keep moving. That's what I love about the uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s, is that unlike the Giants, they have more hit points. So during the time they're being targeted by the CC troops, especially splash damage like Valks or Baby Dragons that are popular in the CC, the, uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s aren't going to go down uh, because they have enough hit points that they'll survive. And after the CC troops go down, typically they'll be healed up faster than they'll be targeted by defenses because of the raged healers. So they'll actually get that hit points back, whereas the Giants could die under the uh, firepower of a level, you know, four baby dragon that is having the times two damage buff. That could be enough to kill the giants before the the queen takes out the baby dragon, and th that way the giants won't be able to be healed back up. So having a little more uh, hit points in the tank uh, can help for those pekkas because it gives them um, some more time under the CC troops before they go down. And it shows here. You can see he has. What's that? All three of his P.E.K.K.A.s? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, plus, plus the Hogs, plus his Heroes, plus a few other troops. Crush this base. Awesome attack to Anthony. Let's take a look at that one low-level hero attack. All the way down at 14. This is Jamie, and he actually has low-level heroes. If this isn't low, I don't know what is. Probably the lowest Town Hall 9 heroes I've shown on the channel. Possibly, possibly ever. I mean, well, probably not, but... The lowest in a long time, especially in One Hive Genesis. I'm not sure if he's a second account or if he's just a, a tryout or a new member or what. But either way, he has the 10-8 heroes. And surprisingly, he's actually bringing three golems. Typically, you don't bring that many golems because um, your, your heroes are going to be more of the damage uh, you're going to rely on when you have that many golems. And it just, your heroes don't do that much DPS, so it doesn't seem like you'd want to bring all those golems. You'd want to invest in Valks or something that does more damage. But the, the heroes do a little bit. The bowlers, especially under Rage, are going to carry the, the major workload. They're going to be what's doing most of the DPS throughout the base. And it helps that this base is kind of lower level, um, as you would expect for someone with this level heroes to be attacking. Comes in with these hogs here. <clears throat> I actually dropped one of, the, of his heals on the kill squad, but the, the second heal goes on to the hogs, and he did a nice job kind of hopping around the double giant bomb set. You'll see some of these giant bombs kind of get glancing blows on the hogs, but none of them will really get a direct hit. There goes the double set, which was in the core, and I think he'll trip like one more double set or something, or a single set. I'm not sure. Yeah, right there is the next one. Uh, so the hogs nimbly avoid that. They hit a few spring traps, actually like three or four spring traps right there. But either way, they're alive and well, and uh, they're going to finish off the rest of this base, along with a ton of other troops that are left up. So nice attack to Jamie. Anyway, hope you guys like the oops. Hope you guys like the recap. Uh, definitely a great war to one hive Genesis. And like I said, two uh, cool videos coming out tomorrow that you guys can look forward to. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Should be fun, and I'm excited to get that face reveal uploaded. Um, it's something you got you guys have been asking for for a while and finally was able to get that uh, get that done so uh, that being said I'm gonna wrap wrap up this video I can't talk tonight uh, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow bye Sectatron out